clear three equations one two and three the above three equations are solved by using Cramer's rule. The above equations one, two, and three are the solved. by using Kramer's okay, first I read the those three equations here first equation is 15i1 plus 20i2 is equal to 50 so equation 1 the second equation it is uh, this minus 5i1 plus 25i2 minus 30 i3 is equal to 0 this is equation number 2 coming to the third equation it is minus 5i1 plus 5i2 plus 35i3 is equal to 100 this is equation number Now we follow the a Kramer's rule. First, a matrix X. Let's take a matrix X. Matrix X is the quotients of the I1, I2, and I3. So the uh, first uh, equation: quotients of I1, I2, I3. Quotient of I1 it is 15. Quotient of I2 it is 20. I3 it is 0. Next, come to the second equation in a uh, second uh, row that is uh, minus 5 I1 quotient, I2 quotient is 25, I3 quotient minus 30. Next, third row of the matrix X. Third equation I1 quotient minus 5, I2 quotient 5, I3 quotient 30. Next, matrix Y. It is a, a constant matrix. Here we have constants are 50. In first equation, constant is 50. In second equation, constant 0. In third equation, constant. And this is matrix X and Y. Next. Here we found uh, that X. Okay, it is. Next, we found the that X. First. We write x1. x1 is the matrix by replacing first column of the x matrix with y. That means 15 minus 5 minus 5 replaced with 50, 0, 100. That is 50, 0, 100. That is first column of the matrix replaced with constant matrix. That is 50, 0, 100. Next, remaining two columns same as that of x matrix that is 20 25 5 0 minus 30, 30. next similarly x2 matrix x2 is by replacing second column of the x matrix with constant matrix y that is 15 first column as it is minus 5 15 minus 5 minus 5 second column with constant matrix 50 0 100 next third column as it is is 0 minus 30 similarly x3 matrix x3 is equal to we replace the third column of the x matrix with y that is first two columns as it is minus 5 5 minus 5 20, 25, 5, 20, 25. Next third column with this width, y, 50, 0, 100. Now, if you want to find out the value of i1, that is equal to that x1 by 
dot x i1 is, is equal to dot x1 by dot x i2 is equal to dot x2 by dot x i3 is equal to dot x3 by dot x here first of all we have to find out the dot x value next we have to find out the dot x1 value similarly dot x2 and dot x3 we have to find then only we get i1 i2 and i3 first i take a calculator press mode and here we have sixth option it is matrix six plus six here we have to enter matrix a matrix a select one matrix a it is okay here we enter the matrix x first of all in matrix x uh, matrix a we enter the matrix x it is a, a three by three matrix okay we have to select three by three press press one we have to press one now enter matrix x here first 15 equal to next 20 equal to 0 equal to minus 5 equal to 25 equal to minus 30 is minus 30 is equal to minus 5 is equal to 5 is equal to 35 is equal to here matrix x is entered in matrix a in the calculator we have to find the data of this press on first press shift and then press matrix which is on top of the number 4 press 4 now yes we have to select the debt that is option 7 press 7 here debt of matrix a for that again press shift and then press matrix 4 that is 4 here we have to select the matrix a here x matrix is stored in matrix a then press matrix a that is 3 option 3 bracket close press equal this is a data of matrix x that is data x is equal to 21875 next that same matrix again we enter matrix x1 more okay, matrix 6 again we press option 1 it is 3 by 3 matrix press 1 and enter matrix x1 here in matrix a 50 equal to 20 press enter 0 0 25 minus 30 100 5 35 here uh, matrix x1 is stored in matrix a then press uh, on shift matrix here it is 4 we have to find the debt 7 again press shift matrix a 4 we have to select option 3 that is matrix a bracket close here debt debt of this x1 is minus 8750 yes. similarly we have to enter x2 and x now 
press more press 6 now I enter matrix X2 in matrix B press 2 3 matrix B which is 3 by 3 matrix press 1 now enter matrix X2 that is 15 50 equal to 0 equal to minus 5 equal to 0 equal to minus 30 equal to minus 5 equal to 100 equal to 35 now matrix B is stored here again press mode matrix 6 option 3 C that is matrix C is selected again it is a 3 by 3 matrix press 1 now in matrix C I enter X3 that is 15 20 50 minus 5 25 0 minus 5 500 okay matrix x is entered in c now we have to find the dead x2 that is for that shift plus 4 that is matrix option 7 it is dead that of again shift plus matrix 4 where that of b b in the sense that of uh, that is x2 is stored in matrix b matrix b option 4 plus 4 bracket close press equal to now shift this is that of matrix b that is that of matrix x2 it is uh, 6 1 2 5 6. now similarly shift option 4 option 7 dead shift option 4 again okay matrix c that is x is stored in matrix c that is plus 5 bracket close plus center dead x3 is equal to 5 to 5 double zero i1 is equal to dot x1 by dot x that is equal to dot x1 this uh, 21875 uh, dot x sorry dot x1 is minus 8750 by dot x 21875 i2 is equal to dot x2 by dot x that is dot x2 is 61250 by 21875 i3 dot x3 by dot x that is 52500 by 21875 these are the values of i1, i2, i3. These are the same values. That is a minus 0 0.4, uh, 2.8, and 2.4. We can get uh, with the help of primer rule or a direct uh, uh, calculation. We get the same values i1, i2, i3. i1, i2, i3. Here we calculate the i1 i2 i3 with the help of grammar rule